What's going on, guys? Your boy, Boxing Facts with Refiction. Today, I'm going to give you guys the real, realest breakdown. The breakdown you've never gotten from anybody else. I mean, I'm going to keep it 100, man. I'm going to give you everything I know, my boxing knowledge, everything I know from watching boxing. But first, I need you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. Because I am about to go in. Pay attention, please. Earl Spencer versus Terrence Crawford. The fight that's brewing in the mouths of millions of boxing fans. That's all you hear about Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. We barely hear Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder like we used to. Now it's Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. The hottest debate on YouTube right now in the boxing world. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. Who wins? Who wins? It's going to be a 50-50 fight. I admit that. I admit that. But honestly, guys, I believe the favorite in this fight is Terrence Crawford. And I'm going to give you the realest breakdown why Terrence Crawford is the favorite in this fight. We're going to look at resumes and we're going to look at accomplishment. And we're going to look at who's been at the biggest stage, who fought more champions, who fought at the highest level. Skills pays the bills. Styles make fights. We're going to look at all that in this video today. We're going to look at all of that. Let's start with Earl Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. One of my favorite fighters in boxing right now. He may not have the best defense, but he has a lot of heart. He has a lot of grit. He has a lot of willpower. Um, in my opinion right now, I'm going to keep it 100. Earl Spence only has two, maybe three notable names on his resume. Because he's at 147, guys. And he hasn't fought the top guys at 147. Earl Spence has only fought three top guys that I know about. If I can even say Algeria is a top guy. But the only top guy Earl Spence has fought was Lamont Peterson. When he fought Lamont Peterson, he didn't have a belt. He wasn't undefeated. When he fought Kell Brook, he wasn't undefeated. He just came off a knockout from Gennady Golovkin. So, here we are. Earl Spence has fought three guys that we really know about. Lamont Peterson, who has taken a lot of losses before Earl Spence fought him. Not a lot, but a few losses. Kell Brook, who has taken the first loss of his career. His confidence is completely shot when Earl Spence fought him. And Algieri, who's taken a few losses too when Earl Spence fought him. And I'm not going to lie, he fought this guy, Lender Bundu, who went neck and neck with Keith Thurman. Earl Spence did what we all expected him to do, knocked him out. Yes, but let's not forget, Lender Bundu was like 40 years old. When Earl Spence fought him, he was not in his prime. So we all knew who was going to win. It was not a 50-50 fight. Let's be honest, guys. Then Earl Spence fought Lamont Peterson. We all knew he was going to win this fight. Lamont Peterson has been in a lot of wars, close fights with Danny Garcia. Lamont Peterson almost lost to Felix Diaz, who Terrence Crawford beat up and stopped. May quit in Crawford's and was in the smaller weight class when he beat Felix Diaz. Felix Diaz was a gold medalist. Crawford beat him. Lamont Peterson beat him. Barely. I thought the fight could have went either way. But Earl Spence beat Lamont Peterson. Kell Brook. Algieri. Lunder Bundu. Those are the best guys on Earl Spence record. The only champion on Earl Spence record. Kell Brook. Come on, guys. Now, Lamont Peterson, Kell Brook, Under Bundu. When he fought those guys, only one of them had a belt, which was Kell Brook, who just came off a devastating loss to Gennady Golovkin. Jumped up two weight division to fight him. Nobody told him to, but he did. He did. 
He lost his confidence when he lost to Gennady Golovkin. He came back down, Kell Brook, and he lost to Earl Spence. Those are Earl Spence's toughest opponents. Now we're going to look at Terrence Crawford, guys. Terrence Crawford continues to dominate and beat champions. Just beat Jeff Horn, a champion, WBO champion. Crawford won every single round when he beat Jeff Horn. He won every single round when he beat Jeff Horn. A champion who beat Manny Pacquiao. Just Manny Pacquiao alone. You know how many people Manny Pacquiao, how many world champions Manny Pacquiao beat? Crawford could have whooped Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao told Bob Arum he didn't want that fight. I did a video. Go check that video out. This is a fight where Earl Spitz got hurt by Leather Bud Doe. We're going to act like we didn't see this. But Leather Bud Doe rocked Earl Spence. We're going to act like we didn't see this. Earl Spence got rocked by Leather Bud Doe. Okay. So Crawford been hurt. Uh, but Earl Spence never been hurt. Guy looked like he about to go to sleep right there. Okay. We're going to act like we we're gonna act like we didn't see that one. But let me get back to Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford has been fighting all champions. The one guy he beat that wasn't a champion but was undefeated in the gold medal list is the guy you guys are going to continue to say that was his best win, Gamboa. Gamboa was moving up in weight. He wasn't a champion. He was undefeated. He was in his prime. Crawford was 26 years old. Gamboa was 32 years old. Crawford was 26 years old. Where the hell was Kell Brook at 26 years old? Where the hell was Earl Spence at 26 years old? Do you think if Earl Spence was fighting at 140, because he fights at 147, we got to be on an even playing field, guys. Earl Spence at 26 years old fighting Gamboa at 140, not 147, because Gamboa should be at 140, right? You think at 26 years old, Earl Spence beats a Gamboa undefeated in this prime? At 26 years old, Crawford beat Gamboa at 26 years old. You guys neglect that. Four years ago, Crawford was 26 years old when he beat Gamboa. A undefeated Gamboa. Never been stopped before. Undefeated. In this prime. 26 years old, Crawford beat him. Where the hell was Kell Brook? Where the hell was uh, Earl Spence Jr.? They would have to go down to 140 to fight Gamboa. Would they have beaten a Gamboa at 140, 135 in this prime? Would they have beaten Gamboa in this prime at age 26? Because I'm not talking about right now. He's out his prime and he's older. Come on, guys. Gamboa wasn't even a champion. Crawford, 26 years old, beat an undefeated gold medalist in this prom at 26 years old. At 26 years old, Earl Spence, nobody knew who he was. Like that. 26 years old, who the hell was Cal Brook? Nobody really knew who he was. He wasn't fighting nobody. Let's put this on an even playing field. What was these guys doing at 26 years old? Let's not forget Emmanuel Larte was the first guy to almost knock out Earl Spence Jr. At the end of the round, Emmanuel Larte, he buzzed Earl Spence Jr., almost put him down. And this was a guy earlier in Earl Spence's career, before he even hit 23 fights. Terrence Crawford, the one time Terrence Crawford gets hurt, he make Gamboa pay. He destroyed Gamboa at 26 years old. Crawford was the champion already of the WBO, and he stopped an undefeated gold Olympic gold medalist guy in his prime. He stopped him. Gamboa is not in his prime yet, so how can you compare Gamboa now to Kell Brook? How can you compare Gamboa now to Kell Brook now? 
Gamboa is out his prime. He's older. We're talking about, let's go back to when Gamboa was 30, 30 years old. When Crawford was 26 years old. You guys, you can't neglect that. You have to stick with the facts. Gamboa has a way better resume than Kell Brook and Earl Spence. We all know this. We all know this. Terrence Crawford will beat the hype that is Earl Spence. And we're all going to hear from these fans that Earl Spence wasn't ready or Earl Spence only had 23 fights. Crawford was 30 something fights in. Kel- Earl Spence should have waited. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Crawford ran. We're going to hear that. We're all going to hear a lot of excuses when the more experienced, the guy that has fought better competition, beat way more champions than Earl Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford, when they finally fight and Terrence Crawford beats Earl Spence, you guys are not going to give him his credit, his just dues. You're going to do the same thing you've done to Floyd Mayweather. You only give him his respect. You're only going to give a great fighter in his prime his respect when he retires. It's the only time you can... Just like how you guys give Floyd Mayweather credit right now when when, 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 uh, Mayweather retired. Crawford's in his third weight division. He fought all champions, kicking ass and taking names. He has way more belts than (laughs) than Earl Spence can even dream of. How many belts do Earl Spence have? How many? Tell me. How many belts do Earl Spence have? How many world champions have Earl Spence beat? Has Earl Spence ever held the uh, Ring Magazine belt? Fighter of the Year? Has Earl Spence ever had the Lineal belt? How many belts has Earl Spence have? How can you compare a guy that only has one belt to a living legend who cleaned out all his divisions how dare you compare these two? There is no debate in here. How dare you even try to compare a resume? How many belts do uh, Kell Brook have? If Kell Brook is that good, how many belts do he have? How many belts has he won? How many belts has Earl Spence won? Come on, guys, man. You can't debate here, man. You don't have a debate, guys. You don't have a debate, man. You guys need to chill. There is no debate in here. There is no debate in here. Earl Spence and Kell Brook and Lamont Peterson, man. You cannot compare those guys to a great fighter who has done way more in his career than these guys would probably ever do in their lifetime. What the hell has Earl Spence done? One title. One notable name. Wow. Kell Brook. One title. One notable name. Meaning one guy he beat. Sean Porter. What are you guys talking about? Where is the debate at? What are we debating on? Earl Spence will lose to Terrence Crawford. The hype job will be exposed. Okay, guys, maybe I'm reaching by calling Earl Spence a hype job. No, he's not a hype job. Earl Spence is a great fighter. He's one of my favorite fighters in the game right now. But there's no way Earl Spence beats Terrence Crawford. I promise you that. Earl Spence doesn't have the experience. He hasn't fought at the biggest level yet. He's only done it one time in his career when he went over to England. He's not ready for a Terrence Crawford, who's been in the game longer, has more experience, and is the better skillful fighter. And the size advantage is not that vast. Earl Spence, 5'9", maybe 5'9 and a half. Terrence Crawford, 5'8". Terrence Crawford has four guys, 5'10 and up. 5'11". And Dango, 5'11". Victor Posto, 5'11". They're taller than Earl Spence. So it's not the height advantage, weight advantage. That, that doesn't matter. Man, I love both fighters. I want to see the best men win. But if I'm betting my money, my money is on Terrence Buckcroft. Because that's my guy. And I'm rocking with Terrence Buckcroft. 
And I feel like if we all can get back to reality and really look at weight classes for what they are, and when Terrence Crawford fought these guys, he fought these guys in their prime, we'll see, we'll lift the veil from our eyes and see that Terrence Crawford has more experience and Terrence Crawford's gonna win. But seriously guys, when Terrence Crawford beat Earl Spence, which he will, expose Earl Spence for being one dimensional, because Crawford is gonna be on, it's gonna put, he's gonna make Earl Spence work. Earl Spence is gonna be on his toes all fight, throughout the fight. Because Earl Spence is gonna, Crawford's gonna keep him guessing, man. He's gonna show him stuff he's never seen before. Crawford's gonna work his way to an easy unanimous decision. I won't be surprised if Terrence Crawford stop Earl Spence Jr. I won't be surprised if Terrence Crawford stop Earl Spence Jr. You guys say, oh no, there's no way. Nobody stops Earl Spence Jr. Over a 12 round fight. If Earl doesn't stop you, you can stop Earl Spence. If you're landing the bigger shots, the highest percentage, which Crawford does, it's a possibility he stops Earl Spence Jr.